when did you start to get like a new perspective kind of march 23rd and 95 I walked into that treatment center and i remember thinking to myself like i can picture that that stainless steel door like industrial door and thinking to myself the fun's over yeah and, but i was like i'd rather be boring and sober than miserable and drunk or a, an alcoholic life and 11 days later i stayed in that treatment center 17 days at the day 11 i started laughing again mm -hmm. and uh my gut hurt from laughing that day wow and i was like i forgot about that and you feeling. noticed it i forgot about that feeling that powerful and i was like i don't know what's happening but i'm digging my claws into it and i've been laughing ever since damn even on the tragic days there's been some kind of laughter even if it's been internal like amusement in my own head like as you know like we make fun of our poke fun of ourselves oh yeah i don't have to sit and laugh out loud to be you know put things in perspective but you know even on days where my mom died three years or three and a half years ago it was like a hard day for me and 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 really it was like the harder year after it was harder for me than that week that you know that she had died and stuff because you almost have stuff to do that week yeah in a weird like, way. i kick into like you know i gotta get things done there's responsibilities i gotta you know make sure things are right and then once you sit you know that passes and then you sink in and then you're not buying that ticket to go see mom in november right. like to see her for christmas because you're like mom ain't there i'm gone that's when you're like fuck that's heavy um so you so you went into there you started to get better yeah yeah like yeah, day 11 started laughing again and then yeah those little things man you notice i i remember having a a thought that made me laugh i remember just driving one time and um and i've struggled in and out over my five years in recovery mm -hmm. but i've never given up on mm -hmm. on the program or yep. or trying to uh you know i haven't given up on that path yet in my life um and i'm trying it new now you know trying it again um <clears throat> But I remember, yeah, a time when I just was driving down the road and I laughed just by myself. And I was like, fuck, I haven't done that in months. Just the little <laughs> things that were like, um, that you just came, or just like, uh, I remember I woke up in the middle of the night one night and I didn't have a thought in my head. And it was like, Jesus Christ, this is so nice. Isn't that nice? <laughs> the noise is not there. Yeah, just like. Especially for someone like you. Yeah, well, it's like somebody started. Right. It's like somebody left something plugged in that's rattling like forty years all ago, the time. and it's rattling all the. And I can't somebody find it. Put a twist tie around that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. I'm just sitting on your front porch, wondering how could I be so far from my home? And my mind is somewhere else, but when I find it, I'll patch up where it's been. 